morning. Welcome to Grumpy Sheep Happy Llama. We're happy to see both new and returning viewers <laughs> yes. to our channel. We are a knitting and spinning podcast and we're coming to you from Eastern Ontario, Canada. I am Robin. I'm Sylvie. And welcome. Welcome. <laughs> so, we still haven't had the coffee still hasn't sunk in. So just warning you. Yeah. So just basically to let you know, normally we go through um, what we're wearing, going through, then we go through our knit-alongs, then uh, our finished objects, our whips, and then spinning, and then whatever else, if we have anything else that's crafty to show and talk about. Yes. So right now I am wearing, wearing my Ernie sweater. <laughs> well, I call it my Ernie sweater. It's basically, I use the um, flax light pattern to knit this uh, with the leftover Briggs and Little yarn that I've had. And so I just striped it, um, inspired by my Ernie shirt. I talked about this in previous podcasts, but uh, this is my Ernie sweater. That's what I'm wearing right now. And that was Briggs and Little Sports. Yes, Briggs Brigs. and Little Sports. Yeah, yeah, that makes a difference. It does. It does. <laughs> yeah, and she wears a sweater a lot, so it's now become her favorite. So now she's going to have to make a Burke sweater, I think. No. No? Ernie sweater, that's all. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Yeah. I'm wearing nothing hand knit today. I'm actually not even wearing my shirt. This is my son's shirt. <laughs> and I said, that's why did you, because I get my son Tammy does because he's much taller and bigger than I am. So I said to him, did, is this, did you give this to me or is this an accident? And he said, no, that was an accident. <laughs> all right. I'll wear it today. Wash it. Give it back to you tomorrow. So anyway, so yeah, don't even have any hand knits today. Oh, wow. Right? That's okay. <laughs> It's a crazy day. Yeah. Um, okay, for so knit alongs, right now we are in the year long sock along. along. <laughs> it almost sounds like swearing. Right? It does, yeah. Is it sock along? <laughs> um, but the catch is, is you need to knit patterns from a book um, because we all have these wonderful books, knitting books, sock knitting books, but we never go in and use the patterns. We just look at the pretty pictures. <laughs> and once you actually go into them, it's amazing the treasure trove you'll find. Oh my God, yeah. I don't know how many. <clears throat> uh, I, yeah, it's amazing. She's found quite a few. I have. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're doing that for until the end of the year because mm -hmm. we started in January. We're also doing a mitten or mitts make along um, and we started that on the March 13th which I believe was uh, the first day of spring forward and we're doing that until November 13th which is where we go back to standard time I think it's November 13th but it's the day that we go back to November standard um, to standard time <laughs> Um, so we're doing that right now that you can grab it doesn't have to be from a book it could be Anything. from your imagination from Ravelry whatever yeah um, it just has to cover your hands. Exactly. It yeah. doesn't no. have to cover your fingertips, but it has to cover your hands. So all the rules are listed in our Ravelry yeah. group, that, our thread that we have on there. So for example, if you're making fingerless mitts, you have to make two to count as one. Because we are going to have prizes. We have to decide on that too. We are going to have some prizes for this uh, of some type. We're just going to randomly draw some yeah. prizes. So it's, in order to make it equal for everybody, you have if you make children's mittens, you have two pairs of mittens to make one adult pair of mittens. If you knit a, one adult pair of mittens, the whole thing, yeah. then that counts as one, and so on and so forth. So all the details are in our thread on Ravelry. Yeah. And then, oh, so starting very soon on April 18th, I and it was Robin May. cannot wait to start it. <laughs> is the telegram for you shawl yes um so we are using the yarn that we uh purchased for our that we had going for our three month sock club um it was yarn dyed by pretty string so but you can certainly use whatever yarn you would like it does use three skeins yeah. it's a beautiful <coughs> shawl it's pattern. a nice shawl by the yarner yes yeah she's a local designer to us yeah yeah and so yeah we're starting that on april 18th and that's going to go f until may 31st so mm -hmm. get your skeins ready for that again all on ravelry the information if you want to join in on the fun and if you want to start getting ready as well in july july 1st yeah, tour de fleece. we oh sorry <laughs> yes there... About something else. Tour de is coming up. there is there is of course tour de fleece i don't know if it starts july 1st but it will be in july, in july sometime. um but dates are to come so soon but yes we will be participating in tour de fleece as well so that that's coming if you're a spinner or if you want to try to if you want to learn to spin you know you can join in with us but what i was going to say <laughs> 
<laughs> is at the festive sweater. So <laughs> by skiing gear. <laughs> by skiing gear. So we thought, you know, Christmas in July, get ready for the actual Christmas at the end of the year. We'll work on the festive sweater <laughs> or cardigan. Um, so you can start looking at the pattern because like I had mentioned before, there's different motifs that you can choose from. You could do an all color work thing. You can just do the yoke. You can do the polo where you can do the cardigan. And it's take a look at the pattern. It's pretty awesome. It is. Um, and then you have to decide on the colors that you want to use. So anyways, that's what we're doing July 1st. Um, and I've decided I'm going to go with Brazen Little uh, Sport to do that uh, sweater. And I've decided on the pullover. Now I just have to decide. Oh, you did decide on the yeah. pullover. Good yeah. for you. All over? No, that's what I need to decide now. <laughs> I know. It's so hard, right? It's so hard. Maybe, But you can make... You can make so many different variations. Oh, for sure. And then you would never, you wouldn't be duplicating yourself. Exactly. Right? So, yeah. You could do a yoke, you could do the all over, you could yeah. do a cardigan. Yeah. Both ways, all over and yoke. And yeah. You could have four sweaters and nobody would know that it's the same pattern. Exactly. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so, those are our knit alongs. I think that's it for now. <laughs> I think so. We do have another sock club that's on pre order right yes. now. And in this case, the themes are, I've got fluff up my nose. The theme is butterflies, mm -hmm. and uh, Pretty String is doing this one again. She uh, has a little bit of a, a passion, just a tiny, <laughs> tiny bit of a passion for butterflies. So she's a photographer, and she has her own butterflies that she wants to do for this. So we're going to do minis this time, though, yeah. because that way we can cover more beautiful butterflies if we have minis versus three full skeins of yeah. sock yarn. So it's going to be a bundle of five minis per month for June, July, and August. We have the pre-order up in our yarn shop right now. Yeah. You have two different sock bases that you can do. You can do Pretty String, Pretty Soft, which is a sock yarn base with Merino, Superwash, Merino, and Nylon. And we also have another one, which is Cash, what do you call it? Merino it Cashmere. Oil? There's a phrase for it. I can't MC, think of it. MCN. MCN, yes. Cash, uh, cashmere, Merino, and Nylon. Um, so you can have that option as well for the minis. But uh, anyway, head over to our shop yes. and, and order because it's going to be beautiful again. She's a, a stunning, beautiful dyer. A stunning yes. dyer. Yeah. Yes. And we don't know what we're going to do with that yet, but you know, we're we'll thinking think, about yes. it. Yes. So if you have suggestions, yes, please put you know, them in the comments in the, below. Yeah. Because uh, oh. uh, we're percolating on it. We, we certainly are. <laughs> so speaking of comments down below, <laughs> last time we had requested that people drop in some names starting with the letter J because I have a whole bunch of lambs. Very cute lambs. How? Yeah. Now, we had to... We only figured that there'd be a couple of people who would give us names and I figured I would have a handful of lambs and it turns out I have 16 lambs. So we're basically using names from everybody who entered names. So thank you very much for your input. Very, very awesome suggestions. Oh, really <laughs> awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the people that provided the names and then I'm going to read the names that I would like to use. And then what we want you to do is send us an email to grumpy sheep happy llama at gmail.com and in the subject line say winner or wiener it doesn't matter <laughs> say winner and then we will send you a small prize it's a small thank you yeah. for, for contributing to the names on the animals in the farm and at some point if they stop moving That's i might be able to say this sheep has this lamb that'd be right, a good idea yeah but right now it's kind of like all over the place <laughs> and it's just like this constant movement so anyway, I will now, if I can read, the, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was just going to say, what I'll do too is uh, whatever names that she had chosen, I'll put it down in the, oh, the, comment? In okay. the description box below and I'll leave our email address there too. So whoever, Perfect. the name of the person who suggested the, the actual name as well. Anyways, go ahead. So Josie Labrie, she suggested Joey and Jujube. As it turns out, I had more males than I was thinking I would get too. So that comes in very handy. So thank Yay. you for Joey and Jujube. For the multi-knitter, it was Jolene. I love that song by Dolly Parton. Who doesn't? I know. So Jolene and Jelly Belly, because who doesn't love those candies? Right? <laughs> Wendy was Jelly Beans, my favorite candy. <laughs> I love Jelly Beans. Robin Manley said Humana. I love that. So it's spelled with a J, but it's a huh sound instead. And then M. Lawson said Jupiter. That'll make a great ram name. Yeah. For, yeah, so that's going to be for a ram. Maureen Manning said Juanita. I like that. Sharon Imler said Hohi. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll have to get a multicolored girl for that one. Yeah. Because Hohi loves black and white and gray, right? So we'll have to get a sheet that looks like that. Michelle Beaujain. I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. I'm so sorry, Michelle. But you said Jamie. And when I mentioned Jamie to Sylvie, like, she was like, yeah. She because kind of, Outlander, are you an Outlander fan? I was like, yes, you got to use Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> so that would be for a ram. <laughs> 
And then um, Diane, I don't, I'm, again, your last name, I'm sorry, uh, Diane Nugren said Juanita Joe. I like that. <laughs> and then Soxy Anna Alice said Jack and Jacqueline. So both of those names are really good. Yeah. And then this I really love too. Mara Lucis, she said uh, Justina as for a female, right? In honor of our Prime Minister Justin Trudeau. But then I thought Justinian, because Justinian, that'd be a great ram lamb name because he was an emperor. I think he was a Byzantian emperor, but he was an emperor. So we're going to go with taking a riff on Justina and make it Justinian. And then we also have Jane, who said Jane. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So those are all of our names. So thank you so yes. much for helping us out with that, because I wouldn't have thought of most of these names. So thank you very much. Thanks for participating, guys. So, on to finish off the, I have one! <laughs> and it's worn already. Yes, it's worn. I've worn it. Uh, can you guess what it is? I think dun, you can. Dun, dun. <laughs> it's my Strom Guardian. So, I did finish it in time for Knit City. And I wore it all day Saturday, all evening Saturday. Then I wore it again to work. So, <laughs> so she loves it. I love it. It's yes. perfect. It looks great. Thank you. It is a great sweater. And I even had some buttons on hand at home, so I didn't have to order any. I just you used what, what I had. But what I like, too, is that they're different. They are, and they're that's what I like the about same. it, too. They're all, yeah. yeah. It's like when you go to those people's houses, and they have different fancy dishes, but yeah. none of them match. But <laughs> it's all together. It looks super. So it's kind of like that. Yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much. So I'm very, very happy with this one. Very good. I don't have a finished object. Well, this would be a good segue into our works Oops. in progress. Yeah, yes, so you have a hole and so do I. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have stuff we're actually yes. working on. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you want to show your hole? I'll show you my hole. My hole is better than your hole. <laughs> so this is my hole. And I'm making another pair of socks for somebody at work that's not feeling well. So oh. this is, I. Uh oh, I didn't remember the pattern. It comes from a I book. Always it comes gentle. from a book, something like this, but it was socks number seven. Okay. Yeah, but it's a, a good German book. Mine's I have an English version. <clears throat> excuse me of this book, and they were mostly color work socks, but I wanted to have texture because this is for a man, and, and I don't know him, mm. so I don't know how he would be about getting some really brightly colored socks. Right. So this is using opal and being trained to say opal instead of opal. So anyway. Say whatever you want. Tomato, tomato. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I was saying opal because I heard Germans say opal, so I figured the word should be opal, but maybe people don't understand when I say oh, that versus opal. But I like the way this uh, yarn turned out, or the way this pattern is working with this, because it's mostly a pearl background with twisted stitches for knits, and you do, you know, you do, it's a repeat of four, so you have three pearls and then one twisted stitch, and you do that for five rows. Hmm. So I think it looks really cool because it's stripey but not overly stripey. Yeah. So it has a different kind of a, a pixelated or or out of focus kind of effect, and I think that's really neat. Plus, it's just a nice sock to keep you interested, but not quite just pure right. stocking stitch, right? So I have one sock done. Nice. Thank you. Well, okay. So I finished one sock of my Jilly socks that I was working on for on the, on the last podcast. Nice. So it is done. Um, so I knit the, the second size, there's two sides to it. And then it said to, for that second size to knit up to nine and a half, or, or it was going to fit a nine and a half foot, um, nine and a half inch foot. My foot is 10 inches. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just knit another half inch, but it's really loose anyways, but it's okay because I'm not planning on wearing it like in my shoes. These are going to be like house socks. House socks. So it's going to be nice and comfy anyways. And I like how it, the back came out here so on the heel the back is shorter than the front so when you're it measuring is. your leg length what do you measure the front or the back the front oh yeah yeah i did anyways okay and it's just a five inch five inch for the leg oh can you show the back again that looks really cool yeah that's what i'm saying it's kind of like a circle it is yeah so you don't see it right away you you see it when you start working on the heel actually that's that's how this this effect starts yeah very neat yeah I really enjoy it. It, it. And when I first put it on, it felt weird because this was lower. So I kept wanting to jack it up. It's like, no, no, no. That's how it's how it's supposed to be, right? right. But uh, it's going to be nice and cozy and warm and, and kind of like soft on my feet. 
in the fall. I like what that. size needles did you use? Your I usual, or used, did you go up a size? No, I went up a size. Uh, I think it's a three. That's what they were asking oh, for in the pattern. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I think I could have gone gone away with just keeping or staying with the length that they were saying, the nine and a half, instead of going ten. Because like I said, I, I still have a little bit of room on my toe, but that's okay. okay. It's going to be like a slipper sock for me. Nice. And I really, I really like how it goes, the ribbing on this here, mm -hmm. how it kind of yeah. peaks that way. I like that. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And the yarn makes it look really nice. It's a tuku wool. Yeah. yeah. Now, is that tuku fingering or just a tuku wool? No, tuku fingering. Or tuku sock. A tuku guess. sock. Yeah, yeah, it's not fingering because it's a bit thicker than the, than the fingering. fingering. It's tuku sock. Wool. Okay, because yeah. I think the fingering doesn't have nylon and that one does. That one does, yes. Okay. It does. It's 70 or 80% wool. Yeah. And whatever was left over is the nylon. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Sorry for the details. I was just thinking no, that's about okay. all these things when you yeah. were working on it. No, that's fine. Cool. And so this is where I'm at on the second sock. I Yay. just put in the striped or the waist yarn for the heels. So I'm just working on the foot. So. Oh, so it's an afterthought heel. It Sorry, is. I'm taking it, it back. Is. Yeah, yeah. I don't like afterthoughts. It's I a different kind of heel. Like it's an afterthought, but it doesn't look like. Yeah, you still work. That's what I mean. You still work that pattern. That's what makes that little round thing. This is cooler than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're just gonna have to make one. I guess. Okay. <laughs> That's really. But this one here, I don't know if it will be. If you did decide, this one here does. Um, huh. You can't just knit on that and have a conversation. You really need to concentrate. Yeah, just because of the, especially when not so much on the foot, but on the leg, there's a lot of increases, decreases. And so you got to kind of keep count. And so, yeah, for me anyways, it's not a conversation kind of, okay. it's not even watching a movie kind of thing because oh, so I paused watch... a few times my movie, my Bridgerton what? movie. Was Jamie taking his clothes <laughs> no, off? No, 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 I, I missed was, it. I was watching Bridgerton. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to Bridgerton right now. Oh, are you? <laughs> no, no. Yeah, Outlander is playing. So I'm, re I'm taping that until it's done. Then I'm going to watch it all. And then she's going to knit vanilla socks. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but I enjoyed working on those socks. They are, uh, they're easy, but not easy to memorize the pattern for me anyways. Okay. Yeah. But it was nice. Cool. But yes. they look really nice. I like yes. The yarn is what makes it, I think, too. I think so, too. Yeah. Makes it that uh, cozy, rustic kind of feel look. Very nice. Thank you. What else you got? Um, well, I'm working on my Masham sweater, which is Tin Can Knits Flax Light. Sorry, I'm just trying to straighten it out so I can show you. And this is a hand spun sweater mm. I did out of 100% Masham that I got from my friend Sharon at Grinsheep.com. Is it the tin can or is it through the mo Turtle Moon? Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. I wasn't sure and... if you had changed it or not. <laughs> no, okay. no. I, my brain was someplace else because I was thinking of another sweater I yeah. want to make with black slate. Sorry. This was actually Kinzan by Turtle yeah. Moon from Toronto. And I mentioned their names last pod. Turtle? Turtle. You did too. <laughs> Screwing it up again. Turtle, pearl, moon and pearl. Anyways, I'll I don't have it down here yet. Turtle the, moon? I think it's turtle and moon. I don't think there's a pearl yeah, in there. No, I don't know why I have a pearl in my mind, but anyways. Anyway, maybe it's Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They wrote a really good book, which has like completely usable, utilitarian, wonderful items in this. It goes from shawls to socks to hats to sweaters. Really, really nice book. And the feature, Briggs and Little, yeah. which of course, as you may have guessed, is one of our favorite yarns. So, yeah. All right, so that's all I have. And what are you working on? Oh, you're working on your hat. Yes, so um, we went to Knit City, and I'm sure we'll get into that afterwards. Uh, but uh, this, I got two skeins here. I'm gonna put it out of my bag. Your so, Knit City bag, you ever seen My Knit City bag is uh, with the pin. Yeah. I guess they were in short supply. We had a couple of our our travel mates who wanted to get one, but yeah, they were sold out. Unfortunately, they were sold out by the time they went up and got to go see if they could have one. Yeah. So I got this skein and this skein. And it's from, I just had the tag. Oh, from these guys here, Jolene Yarns. Oh, and it's Surrey Silk, not, oh, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, so this one here it's is Surrey Silk Alpaca, and it's, I don't know how you would say the colorway, Giverny. See here, Giverny, I think. That's this one here. And um, just this one here is a Merino Yak Silk. 
and the colorway is dusty I think it is yeah nice so I'm just knitting that two strands together I'm doing the muscle bird I had an itch when we were in Montreal when I bought these two I was like I have to cast on the muscle bird and so I, of course I had to go buy some needles because I didn't have the needles I I have to say at Knit City she had a plan and, and it worked it worked <laughs> by the time we <laughs> left home she had purchased everything she had for almost her what did you miss? The Darren pullover I couldn't find. Oh. And the song. Whereas I had a plan, but when I got to Montreal, I completely forgot my plan. <laughs> my brain was blown and it was like, I don't know what I want to get. What's my plan? And they said, don't go over the plan. So I didn't go over the plan, but then I left. As soon as we left Montreal, yeah. I was like, oh yeah, I was going to get this and this. Oh. And then I didn't. Uh, but yeah, so I knitted on the Musselberg hat, which I really like the cast on way well I'm not going to go into details because it's a per it's a purchased uh, pattern but basically you cast it on you knit so many inches depending on your gauge and then you de increase decrease and then it's like a tube and then you broop, pop it back in here right so it's going to be a nice warm tube so next winter when it's a nice sunny crisp minus 25 degrees I can go out for a walk with and my ears and the head will be nice and warm that might be next week no don't say that <laughs> So yes, that, that's what I'm working on. And I didn't realize, I knew mohair, in this case, this, this silk thing, whatever, I knew that it would mute the color, but I didn't realize it would mute it so much because then I would have probably grabbed something a little bit brighter. Oh, really? I yeah. really like what it's done, though. It's really nice. I'm not, I'm not complaining. Uh -huh. I was hoping to get something, I don't know, a little bit more. Anyways, I will know for next time. That's very nice. Oh, she's going to make another one. Oh, for sure. I think I will make Next Knit City, you're going to go get the same thing? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> are we going to go back to Knit City? Oh, yeah. I would love to. That was so nice. I mean, you were you were saying that you would have liked to have, see more rustic wool. I don't think I went in expecting to have some, to see some rustic. I think I would have liked to have seen more rustic wool, but it's Knit City Montreal, so I don't, I wasn't, I guess my, I, I didn't know what I was expecting. I guess I was expecting somebody like Farm to Cable. Yeah. So who has more rustic? There was one yarn. one booth, one vendor. I forget their name already. Fiola or Ven. Anyways, they had, but they didn't have what you were looking for. They no. Yeah. No. It was mostly indie dyed sock yarn. Yeah, and neon is the colorway this year. Like holy cow! Yeah. <laughs> Those are some nice colors. Yeah. And it's like oh, I wish I could wear that color. Yeah. But yeah, no. <laughs> but it was nice overall. It was nice. It was super. And it, the funny thing is, too, I guess we've kind of gone off topic. But yeah. the funny thing is, we only had a three hour window and we were concerned only three hours. We're not going to have enough. We did. And, yeah. We were done in an hour. Ah. Okay. I was done in an hour. I, I, yeah, I guess so. I, but we were there pretty much all morning. And I felt like. You know, I did, I, I went around three, four, five times because I felt like I was missing like, or a booth or two, yeah. or like, or the booth was so busy. It's like, okay, I'll come back to it afterwards type yeah. deal. So it was nice. I, I really it was it. nice. I will definitely go back. Me too. But when I go back, I will go with a plan. Oh yeah. And then of course, Knit City wasn't enough on yes. Sunday before we left Montreal. Well, see, this is what happened, right? We had to stop at Espacitico. <laughs> yes. Because my plan was also to buy these new what do you call them barber knitting mm -hmm. and the I plastic knew, thing that yes you so through? it's it's basically like a plastic string that you put at the tip of your needle and then you could pull through so if you're wanting to try a sweater it's easier to pull through rather than you know putting a a waist yarn around it so you can try your sweater or look at your shawl type deal and I knew this barber I wanted to look at them because I know there's a different kind where the, the rubber is um, not so smooth, so it's di more difficult to put your stitches on through. Anyways, one of our friends who was traveling with us, she ended up getting some at, Espas at the Espastico booth, and I was so mad at myself because I knew that's what I wanted to get as well, and I completely forgot. Anyways, hers, th those barber things are a lot smoother. So I was like, I really want to get some. And I was like, well, we can't go back because the tickets are all sold out and our time limit was over. Yeah. And so someone had the bright idea of like, well, hello, let's just go to the store. <laughs> so it's like, oh, okay, let's just go to the store. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and we dropped did. some more money. <laughs> yeah, we did. 
But again, I couldn't find what I wanted. No, but you ordered it though. I ordered it, but I'm still not even sure if that's 100% what it was. I guess because I didn't see the colors all together. I ended up ordering um, Retrosaria's Vavu. There were only two colors available, but to make um, Caitlin Hunter's, oh, what's it called? Juniper, Jupiter, Juniper, Jupiter. It's the one that reminds me of, yes, I think it's Jupiter. It reminds yeah. me of a rooster, the color of a rooster. So it's an all over color work. So yeah, so you're not sure if you're going to, so she ordered the yarn at Espostico and we'll see what happens if, if yeah. those are the actual colorways that you want. Yeah. Yeah, well, I got the colors that she had made the sweater in, so that's fine. But they just didn't have it all. But I felt badly because it was like, well, they didn't have a lot of stock in the shop. So I was thinking, well, if you don't sell this stuff, like, am I making you buy a bunch of, because some of the colors were like one ball. Um, <clears throat> and you know how it comes, right? Yeah. It comes in like a package of yeah. eight or ten, and then is she gonna? Be, and they they said, "Don't They'll be sell silly, it. yeah, exactly. Don't be silly, we'll sell it." Okay, so order I'm not worrying either. No. Okay, so off topic. Sorry, we'll go so back into back. our works in progress. <laughs> yes, that's all I have in progress. I mean, I do have that one cowl by um, Oh yeah, but I haven't been. You haven't touched it much. Yet. Not since before Knit City. Same here. I have my. Well, I do have another one, but I, I'm still working on my the shawl song. by Lyrical Knits. Um, but see, I want to get my sock done and I want to get that done before I cast on something else because I'm just itching to cast on something else. But in the meantime, on our way to oh, yeah. as, to Knit City, this is for our Mitt Knit Along. Mm -hmm. I found this pattern here. It's a free pattern. It's called Circle Mitt. And so I thought this would be pretty cool with a um, one of my hand spun which is this here that I got. I spun this, this is Fiber Pusher Fairy, and it's merino and tinsel. That's why there's a bit of shine to that. And it's a three ply, it looks like. It's a three ply. This is Navajo ply, and uh, I did pretty okay. good on this one you here, did. actually. Um, and anyway, so you start with the thumb, and then you work around in the circle, so it kind of like, it looks weird, but <laughs> it, <laughs> it kind of like goes this way here. And now I'm getting, here, that's better. Now I'm getting ready to knit short rows. That's gonna go like, boop, 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 like this here. And then I haven't read further, but I imagine I'm gonna be doing some ribbing here and some ribbing here, and there's your, there's my mitt. And I thought that would be kind of cool for hand spun. Yes. So yeah, I'm sure working on that. It nicely. Yeah. Right now it looks like a Ken sweater. It does. Exactly. <laughs> I don't think Ken's A big turtle knit. Yeah. <laughs> well, nowadays you never know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's it for Whip. So now for other stuff. Spinning. Spinning. I have a lot of spinning. You've gone crazy on spinning. Well, I'm sorry, I still have fluff up my nose. This is terrible. Is it my fluff? No, well, maybe. Actually, <laughs> it could be your fluff. Anyway, it, there's houses full of fluff because that's all I do is <laughs> cool stuff. Anyway, I wish I could show you what I had purchased. Well, the point part of this was to show you what I had purchased at Knit City Montreal, but it kind of didn't stay in its state. I still have, I bought the same thing as her. Well, one of the things, but the yeah. bat from Timikwaga. It's East Frisian. She got the gray, I got the pink, but I didn't bring the bat. Maybe How do you pronounce time. it? Tim, Tim, Timisquaga. Timisquata. Anyway. It's a region in Quebec. This is her tag, and this is East Frisian, and I had so much fun spinning this bat. It was a 75 gram bat, and I'm calling it steel blue as the color, but oh, it's yeah. kind of a, a gray, gray with a little yeah. bit of a blue, and it's got a little touch of purpley kind of color in there. But this was, so I'm gonna say freeing, like it oh, just yeah, because yeah. usually when I spin, well, kind of when I usually when I spin, I try to be consistent. Yeah. And there was no way I was going to be consistent with this. So then I just spun it. Good. And so I really got to enjoy it. And it's relatively consistent, I suppose. I would even say so. Though I just, but there are fat. That's okay. That's what and, makes it look so rustic. And it was rustic to get, begin uh, with when you got it in the yeah. bat, right? So Can't yeah. get enough of this. I have to say, you can find her on Etsy, by the way. Yes, and the booth you got well, that we both got it from is Crochet and Compagnie, and so they they're now selling their stuff. Oh, actually, okay. As well. I couldn't so, remember where I got it, and yeah. I couldn't. Uh, so I googled her and I found her on Etsy. Yeah, but this is um, this is a two ply I did. I have 121 yards out of my 75 grams, but this was so much fun to spin. I would love to get 
a lot more. Mm. It was just so nice. And when well, I was spinning this, I was thinking mitts, mittens. Oh yeah. Right? It just got that floofy, yeah, cozy. Anyway. Well, oh, check out that uh, Christian Compagnie mm -hmm. or go on their Etsy. Yeah. I didn't realize they would have an Etsy shop as well. That's cool. I couldn't remember where I bought it. I thought, so I just assumed it was her. But yeah. I guess not. Another place, now this is nice. I got two items at Akata, I guess you pronounce mm, it. Akata that's Yarns. Beautiful. Yeah. That I was just, another nice booth. It was. And she had yarn too, but I just zoomed in. I only focused <laughs> on the spinning fiber. So she had Ontario wool spinning fiber, which is comprised of Suffolk, Dorset, Rideau Arcot, and Ile de France. Mm. And she had a beautiful braid dye. This is 100 grams, a beautiful braid dye. Absolutely loved it. But here's the part that I find interesting. This is a two ply. I got 253 yards out of it. These are mostly down, well, half of the breeds listed here are down breeds and the other ones are kind of like down breeds. So they have a similar fiber. And this was a top, a commercially prepared mm -hmm. top. And those two things didn't make it easy to spin. So I was trying to, I was fighting with it, which is kind of like putting a square peg into a round hole. Cause I thought this will be spun and I will be consistent and it will be spun. But it kept telling me, no, 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 you have to hand card it first. <laughs> and I kept saying, no, 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 you came as a top and I'm spin you as you are. And I was worried about messing up the colors cause it was mm. beautifully dyed, but the color sections were very short, kind of splotchy. And I thought I'm gonna wreck the color. And then at one point I said, screw it. I am just going to card it with my hand cards and try to keep the color as much as possible. So I took the remaining part of my braids. I had to split it lengthwise. So I had most of half of one and then the other half completely. And I just hand carded it and made it into little roll eggs. I lined up to kind of try oh, to keep yeah, the color okay. order. So it kind of blended the colors a bit. So the color changes aren't as sharp as they would be had I spun it from the top. But man, to That's spin nice. it from the roll egg was the easiest, the, the most agile. Does that make sense? It was the easiest long draw spin I have done oh, okay. forever. And I did a proper supported long draw and I haven't done one of those in a long time. And it was just a dream. And it just, it just drew mm. off like this. If you can just picture the smooth motion of making, like spinning from these roll legs. Yeah, it was yeah. beautiful. Totally enjoyed it. And then crap, I was done. <laughs> so, anyway, in the meantime, when I was at the beginning fighting with it, I had written to her and I said, um, do you have any plain undyed stuff? Because I'm wondering if this should be hand carded versus you know, being spun right. from top. And she said, well, yeah, I do. So when I get back, she said, I'll send you a skein of just the undyed stuff so you can compare it. But she said, I did hand card my dyed stuff. Oh, which kind of also gave me the, that's what gave me the courage to just go ahead and hand card the rest of it. So I'm gonna have some plain white to go with it. And again, mittens, color work yes. mittens. Because if I had plain white to spin with this, I'm gonna hand card the sucker out of it and I'm gonna, you know, long draw it. Um, It'll be a nice contrast. Oh, it will for sure. But beautiful. So this is Akara yarns. Yes. Nice. She was very nice. Is she from Ontario? Toronto. She is. Area. Area. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Etobicoke. Yeah. Which okay. for me is like Toronto. Yeah. 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 No. I mean anything south is Toronto. No. <laughs> anything, well, anything past Peterborough and the 401 is yeah. Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> it's because Toronto is so vast. And <laughs> people drive scarily. <laughs> scarily. Oh, this, you haven't spun that yet. Amazingly right? enough. Right. <laughs> I um, thought for sure it would have been done by now. I know. <laughs> I thought that I should do my club stuff too as, as a break. Anyway, can you see this? I should take it out. This is also, this is a bat by Akata. I'll read you the ingredients. Mm -hmm. It's 35 grams of organic merino, 25 grams of Coronel, 15 grams of CVM Romaldale and Angora, mm -hmm. and 10 grams of alpaca silk, and a dash, a dash of pulled silk. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's beautiful. So, yes, this is my acquisitions from, I mean, look at this. It's gorgeous. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. So, when I have an afternoon of tea drinking, I will spin this, but yes, beautiful. Or you wait for children piece. Nope. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. I gotta spin it. I gotta just spin it. So, what we're talking about, that's acquisition. So, I talked about this. I talked about this. These are my acquisitions from Knit City Montreal. But that you've spun. That I've spun. And then I have club stuff. So, this is a club from Hello Yarn. 
And this colorway was called Arctic Sky. It's actually not a club. I bought this when I was waiting for my club stuff to arrive. Because, <laughs> you know. So it's beautiful. It's two ply, my usual sport weight. And I have, uh, it's 12 wraps per inch. And it's 279 yards, four ounces. It's really, I like this. And it's Falkland. So Falkland was really long. It was longer than I expected. Oh, yeah. And crispier than I expected. Mm. Because that would be like a... A merino type thing, I think. Falkland. I think that's right. Is it merino? I think it's Falkland merino. Anyway, quite long fiber, crispier than I had expected, but nice. I like this. Nice. And this is my other skein. Feel that. Oh, that's really nice. Is that? Thank you. So this is my South African find. This is from a Southern Cross fiber. Didn't you already show that one? Or no. Is that a, another one. This is another one. Oh. I get a double dose. So my first one came out as late weight, lace weight, yeah. and there's actually a difference. Were you not supposed to do lace weight for this one too? Didn't it, come out that way? It didn't come out that way because here's the thing. I don't take good notes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I get distracted. I had written on my bag uh, for my ratios of spinning were 10 to 1 and my ply was 10 to 1. And I thought, yeah. well, that's really stupid. I wouldn't do that. So I spun this one 8 to 1 and then plied it 10 to 1. And it turns out it was supposed to be 10 to 1 and 10 to 1. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I ended up getting... A fingering weight as opposed to a lace weight yeah. just from that because this wool is very poofy so when I washed it and blocked it it really poofed and it you I don't know if you could see the difference on the screen but if I were to like bring out the other skin yeah. you would see that there's an obvious difference between the two of them and how tight the twist is but I got more yardage in this one. Oh, that's interesting yeah I got 505 yards huh. so go figure anyway beautiful it and I'm spinning beautiful. up the purple that goes with this right now I'm plying it actually yeah I was yeah, hoping I to have it off my wheel so I could show it today, but so the didn't come late enough. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. She didn't get stuck at Tim's like usual, so <laughs> I didn't quite have enough time to finish. But anyway, so, but that'll be done for next time, I guess. And then the other club thing is from uh, Woolen Spinning. They have a breed and club study. Oh, yes. Breed and color study, sorry. And uh, this was a braid. She, she, usually they have braids tops like braided tops uh in one half of the year and they have a bat in the other half of the year but this year they just did the whole year you got a braid in the top of the same breed <clears throat> and the same basic color I study for the whole year so this is hill radnor this is a very crisp wool hmm. um I, and i guess it comes in different variations some of it can be really soft next to skin we didn't get the next to skin soft one but it's got lots of personality which I like. You'll be nice and cardigan too. Do you like yeah, I think so. Yeah, a very nice hard wearing cardigan. Yeah. Although I only did two ply as opposed to three. And I got 220 yards. So what the prop, what the, it's not even a problem. <laughs> what the thing was that I thought was so cool was that Southern Cross Fiber from Australia and then Woolen Spinning and um, Jack's Boutique, Crafty Jack's Boutique yeah. in BC. So a world apart, right? Whole different time zone away, whole world time zone away. They had the similar colors, even though their inspiration oh, was totally right. different. Oh, that's right. That's what you had uh, shown us on Yeah, yes. on Ravelry. Yeah, so what happened was Southern Cross Fiber, they had the inspiration of ABBA, one of the ABBA albums with their 1970s clothes and stuff and the velour suits and whatnot. And so I got, um, I got my double dose usual. And then I yeah. also asked for coordinates to go with that. And then I had this whole club and the colors are the same. Amazing. Amazingly enough, they're the same. So different breeds, because the one from Southern Cross Fiber is Bond, and this is Hill Radnor. However, I thought if I spin them up this basic same sport weight two ply, then I'll be able to intermix them in a project, of course, right? Of course. So which is kind of how I want to work my stash anyway. Yeah. I want to spin them all basically the same, because then I can make all kinds of Andrew Maori sweaters. I can yeah. do all kinds of stuff if yeah. it's all sport weight two ply. Boring, but in a sense, no. but at the same time, I think it's... It makes sense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's all my spinning FOs, but we do have a breed study. Oh, yeah. After all of that. Right? Sorry. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. I'm blocking the show. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. You're having fun with your spinning. I'm having fun with my spinning. <laughs> my husband comes home and goes, uh, wool. There's wool everywhere. We bought this house just to fill it with wool. Exactly. No. <laughs> Yeah, our breed study this time was, um, how do you say that? Eider. 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 
E I D E R. Yeah, Eider. E I is Eider. And it's not even, this breed is not even the book and no. the fleece in the book. When I say the book, I mean the fleece. Uh, what do you call that? The feel of the fleece? Yeah. That you know book. that big thick book there <laughs> and i have a small pocket size one <laughs> so do i yeah it's not even in there no. because i wanted to know more about it you know like because it's a long wool apparently and then when we read long wool, we, we were like kind of thought um, not another dope rope. End. yeah yes. exactly Why are you rope? <laughs> me <laughs> too <laughs> a little bit of both so as i sat at my wheel to get ready to spin i was like okay now i'm gonna have to be careful so it doesn't get ropey but it wasn't at all like that it was nice it was really uh a really nice smooth spinning I was really surprised and again this is next to skin so I would definitely uh -huh. knit a sweater with this oh for sure I was I only had 20 grams I was like more it was very nice more. to spin with so if you have some don't be afraid it will not be ropey at all and yours is very loosely it's applied. Like, yes because I was afraid I just did a little sample as you no, can it's see because nice it looks fuzzy mine doesn't look fuzzy I did a supported back draw Oh, oh, why is this? Uh, yeah. Did you? I know, right? <laughs> did it support a back draw? I, I did it really quick this morning. I'll admit it because I'm <laughs> still on the fumes and tired from the last weekend in the city. I was like, oh my God, I got to do a sample and it's going to be ropey. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. So yeah, I did it a bit loosely thinking that, loosely thinking that it would be um, like rope. And it wasn't at all. No. But look at yours. You did yours a little bit more tightly. And look how beautiful well, it came out. I didn't. I did my continuous backdrop. Yeah. So I did it with a ratio the first time because I was worried about rope. Like, yeah. You know, I Even though it felt soft, I didn't believe what my fingers were feeling. So I did a ratio of five to one for spinning it for the singles. And then I thought, I think it can take more twists. So I applied it at eight to one. And it came out look how nice super nicely and it's got a shine to yeah, it yeah it does which is really really nice so i was pleasantly surprised this morning yeah i really enjoyed this so then yes. I, I saved the rest of the skein and i spun this second batch mm. at a ratio of eight to one and then plied it ten to one and it's still not ropey yep yeah. it's beautiful but then where do you get this i don't know i would really like to have more information i didn't have time to google it <laughs> Because I thought for sure it was going to be in the book because yeah. you know, all the breeds are in that book. And then when it wasn't in the book, my brain just shut down. Yeah, pretty like, much. Well, yeah, I guess that's it. Because <laughs> it's beautiful. I would definitely spin some more. It's oh, got too. some personality. Yeah. It was really nice to spin. It's soft, surprisingly yes. soft. It's not soft like Merino, but, no, it's, but it's soft. soft. Next, yeah. I would consider it next to skin. Oh, so do I. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Like, you wouldn't do this for next to skin, but I would consider it next to skin. Yeah, I agree. It's beautiful. Yeah, so that's Eider. Yeah. So you have some, don't be afraid. Yeah. It's not going to get real It's definitely deep. long. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a long breed. So that's right. that for spinning. I think that's pretty much all that I have. I have more acquisition for Oh, I do too. I brought my bag because I wasn't sure if we we're going to go through it all or not. <laughs> I don't know if you guys want to see what we bought. I didn't buy much. Well, you saw most of it. Yeah. And you? Did you bring it? I did. I Good. did. I'm not, um, so I want to see it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to put this aside. First of all, our friend Joe made all of us yes. these bags. Thank so, you, Joe, again. Yes. There's the front. Oh, I'll let you show because, yeah. Well, you want to show the back? Oh, sure. And then just us girls. Yay. Oh, we had, a, we had an Airbnb. <laughs> it was a cozy Airbnb. It was tiny. It was like fitting five people I into a tiny house. It's cozy. <laughs> it was definitely cozy it was fun because it, it was so small and there was a and I'm six feet tall so I have to have a you know a bed a queen size bed is the only bed where only my toes hang over every other bed my whole foot hangs off the end <laughs> so this had a headboard and a footboard they said I claim the small bed and then Joe's like why you're not gonna fit and I said I know it's gonna be so much fun to sleep in a small little bed like that Anyway, and, yeah. and it was. But we were right downtown Montreal, which was oh, good. Was and it was like not even a five minute walk to the Sheridan. No, so it was, it was what, like three it was blocks? perfect. Yeah. Yeah, it was amazing. It was Sheraton great. is where the Knit City was held, actually, uh, Sheraton Center. So yeah, yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, and it was fun because, I mean, you had to bring your own chair. <laughs> Yeah, because it was so tiny, it had like a little love seat and one one chair, and then and it wasn't even a love seat. No, no it was uncomfortable. So, it was all I did. I'm but... happy I brought my lawn chair. Yeah, <laughs> so we bought lawn chairs and then just made do. But making do was fun. Oh, the most yeah. amazing food too. <gasps> we had pizza. Oh my god, I ate what they call the rustica pizza, and this is from who is it? It was like it Giovanni. Had a... And it was a, a, a or something. Yeah. Anyways, a it was bechamel with 
apple slices and, and walnuts. walnuts and uh and a uh, uh, cheddar ball hard not hard a strong cheddar cheese uh -huh. i think it is anyways it was absolutely and crust delicious pizza. yeah yeah i forget what i had but it was amazing you I, I was gonna have a, I was gonna had... go for a margarita, which is my usual. Yeah, but you had you decided had something on something different, else. and I can't remember. But it was so good, I didn't care. And then I was gonna try Sylvie's pizza because apple and walnut yeah. pizza. But I was so happy with my pizza, I didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted my pizza. So we so, had that, and then one morning at what two in the morning we had Chinese food. Yep. That yep. was Saturday morning. Saturday, yeah, yeah. right after because we went to the Knit City Social. <laughs> So in, in the morning on Saturday, we had the uh, market, so we were there all morning. We met up with the grocery girls, so we took some pictures of oh, yes. the grocery girls. And we, of course, we met up with, oh, I forget her name, but the the lady who does uh, the Yarn La Bien Aimee, she was there too. She Amy. Was, Amy, there you go. Amy. <laughs> yeah. And, um... Because she was signing her book because she had come up with a... Oh, she's so, got a book. Yeah, it's called Worsted. So it's all patterns. Oh, that I didn't know that. Worsted size, yeah. Oh. So she was she was with the booth Espacito. So, and of course, they were selling her yarn and all that stuff. So we got to meet her too. And she was one of the hosts at Knit City yeah. Social. It was packed there too. Yeah. Um, so it was nice to see everyone together knitting. And uh, there was trivias and all that stuff. Oh, it was so a lot of fun. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. And we had new uh, table friends. Yes, that we kind of met. In, we kind of met in line too, yeah. right? Because yeah, because this one girl was wearing Adelia, I think was her name. Yes, Adelia. Yeah, it was Adelia. I can still remember your name, please. <laughs> You're probably not watching us because you don't know about us, but I can still remember your names. <laughs> so, so we had a lot of fun. So yeah, so I went in with a plan, not thinking that I would find anything, but but I did. I did. So I'm so jealous. <laughs> I, for once, things worked out for me because usually when I go to these festivals, I get in there and I get all overwhelmed and I, I just, I don't know what to buy. And I was still overwhelmed, but at least it's like, no, look at your plan, look at what you have, you know. Anyways, this here was bought at Espaustico, not at the, um, but, not, oh yeah, at the shop Espaustico. At the shop Espaustico, not, and so this, I'm going to do the, the Vatline jumper, so I'll just pop the picture. By Ella Gordon. By Ella Gordon. So this is going to be the main color with the, the other three, which is um, going to be the wavy part. It's going to be so pretty. Thank you. So this is the Shelter, Shelter Bro Brooklyn tw Tweed. Yeah. Beautiful. And it's going to be so light. That yarn is so light. Oh my God. Yeah. <coughs> Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So I got that. And then I found some yarn for, now I can never say this name. So it's a, a little jumper, a little sweater I guess short sleeve and it's got a lace pattern at the bottom of trees I would say it's called a Grand's Kong Grand's Kong tea I don't remember anyways I found this beautiful colorway it's from my Apal and it the base is BFL and the color is Mari Mari yeah so I like yeah, yeah. so it's gonna be beautiful so that was on my list the other thing that was on my list, oh. well, this wasn't really on my list, but I had to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> so I bought one skein. Oh, just one? Yeah, this is a dyed uh, by Annie Parent. She's a, 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 oh, a dyer in Quebec. Show. Yes, uh. from Bridgerton. <laughs> so this is Her Majesty colorway. I haven't seen, what is Bridgerton about? I'll tell I'll tell you about that later because I, I can it. go on and on and on. I don't know if it would be something that you like. It's it's like a more of a like a Victorian romance. Oh, okay. It's a book. It's Julie by Julia Quinn. She wrote the series, but mm -hmm. they Netflix adapted it. Oh, okay. It's really really good. <laughs> <laughs> and then I found this yarn by oh, cool. The Loving Path. Um, it's DK Tweed, and this is going to be for my Gan vest. So I love how you've got the gold and the pink and it's got and some it's tweed. tweed. Yeah. It's going to be perfect for that vest. Nice. It's going to be really pretty. Yes. And of course I had to get the Knit City Montreal color. Yes, we all got this. Yeah. From Leon Roxy. Yeah. So you got the, the one skein with the two minis. And we were just trying to decide what we can do because we were like, we should knit something all together the same. And then some of us didn't want to write uh, knit socks. Others didn't want to knit shawls. So we're like, you know what? I guess we're just going to do <laughs> whatever. <laughs> what, yes. Yeah, with the same yarn. And then we can just show what we can do differently yeah. with the same yarn, I guess. Yeah. So that was my fun. And of course, I got the, the yarn that I was showing you a while ago. There. Yeah. For, 
Yes. Well, I got all that stuff that I showed you that I spun already and is ready to spin. Plus, I got Leo and Roxy. This was the very first thing I bought. I walked around. I didn't even realize there was a color. I didn't even think of looking for someone who had color. Because usually when you go to festivals, there's mm -hmm. a colorway. Yeah. I didn't think about it either. But as soon as I saw the colors. Yeah. <gasps> so this it's is. in Montreal. <laughs> so we're done. You know, it's still. We, we were. Sorry. We were done shopping. So we go downstairs at the restaurant in the hotel. We're having lunch and we're discussing and then she goes yeah and then there's that colorway i'm like oh shit yeah and then i was like and then she's like i'm gonna go get some needles too i'm like oh shit i should get some needles too for this year so back up we go <laughs> and, you got, and a couple of people got more of the yarn yeah but this was the first thing that i had purchased mm. which was kind of cool because i was going through thinking i'm not going to buy anything this time and then i saw this and then that broke it but look look at it's still different in a way right because we were looking when like the main skein. Mm -hmm. See, your green is a bit darker, which is kind of cool. Do you see what I mean? Oh, yeah. Does this yeah, but that's the dye line difference. Yeah. yeah. Anyways. That's okay. And then I thought about, I, I guess I was feeling like I should buy something because I'm at Knit City and... You don't have to, yeah. I don't know. So, because of that, I found something. So I have these three skeins, and I like Ginger Snap. So they have nice colors. I really too. like Ginger Snap. Yeah. Um, but I thought I'm not going to make some more socks, but I would normally get sock yarn from them, like to make socks. Yeah. But I have so many socks for myself. I just kind of wasn't there. But That's I beautiful. did find this, and I think I just need three skeins to make myself a tea shirt. Yeah. Like a knit, so that'll be tin can knits, flax light. Well, you so should look at different that. others' t shirts to see. I should. I could. Yeah, I like that. But yeah, if you can't find anything, the flax would be nice. But yeah, yeah. Anyway, so t-shirt with this. Because I find lately you're seeing more and more textured sweaters on Ravelry. But I don't know if I would have, this is just for a basic stocking uh, stitch. If I yeah. were to go into texture, I'd probably, probably need a bit four. more. Yeah. yeah, of course, games. I only bought three. So that's all my purchases. I was pretty good. I came, I found that I came under budget for my fiber purchases but way over budget for food. Really? Yeah, I guess I haven't got it enough <laughs> into the world to know that prices have really gone up or prices were up already and I just didn't know because I... No, I did a little bit of both. Prices have gone up and they're, yeah, anyways. <laughs> and we were in downtown Montreal and so I'm sure that had something to do with it Probably. too. Probably. So the food was amazing though. I don't think I ate. And oh, that Greek place on our last day? We went to a Greek oh, place. Oh yes, that too. That was so good. Yeah. That was good. It was. Yeah. So anyway, a lot of fun. It was amazing. Um, one more thing too. I'm not sure if this is... We, one of the things that was funny over our weekend was Anna was saying, you know, I was trying to find a word where we wouldn't be swearing, oh, yes. but we could swear. Because it came with... Here's this backstory real quick. Because someone was saying fuck a duck. And then... That's my feeling <laughs> is fuck a duck. <laughs> Sorry if you guys <laughs> are no, not into swearing. swearing. My apologies. Anyways. Um, we were talking about the show on Netflix Good Place where they're not allowed to swear. And so we were saying, if we can say, fuck it back, what can we say? What can we say? And who came up with that? Anna. She said, fork a stork. <laughs> <laughs> and then we were giggling every time we said fork a stork because we were trying to remember to say that instead, right? And it was fork instead of the F word. So right. it was like, fork it or whatever. <laughs> and then we start laughing. So then anyway, by the time Sunday came and we were totally sleep deprived and food heavy and yeah. fiber high, we were giggling over fork, fork a stork. And then Joe, our friend Joe yells, um, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> so you may or may not find this funny, but it still makes us laugh. And then I was trying to explain this to my husband and son and they just looked at me. They were blank. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> Mine too. <laughs> but I think Fork a Stork is a great alternative so, so you, you're not swearing. Yeah, so you might see, hear us say that once in a while. Okay. Now you'll know the reason why. There you go. <laughs> Maybe we've invented something. Maybe. <laughs> Fork a Stork. Yeah. Tastes like chicken. <laughs> And then we had the bright idea at Knit City Social to name our table Fork a Stork. Oh, yeah. And then nobody got it. Because <laughs> everyone else had beautiful knitted related names. And here's us with Fork a Stork and like everyone, like crickets. Yeah. yeah. But the people at our table, we explained it to the people at our table. And they thought it was funny too. Yeah. And they were fully on board with that table name <laughs> or team name. But in comparison to other team names that had knitting yeah. stuff, yeah. Completely Did, not. No. <laughs> but that's okay. We got it. Yeah. That's what matters. <laughs> okay. All right.
Yeah, I think that's it. Yes, yeah, so we'll uh, catch up next time for sure. And if you are, if uh, you're not sure if you're the winner of the the name a llama, just take a look at the description box or name a sheep. Sorry, <laughs> I wanted to say name a lamb, and it came out name well, a llama. The bed has a name. Never mind. <laughs> Take a look below in the description box and I will leave our email address so you can email us to get your little gift. Yes. And if you would like to partake in our fun with our sock club, please go see our website for the sock club, the one that's coming up. Yes. The pre-orders are ending at the end of this month, uh, which is April. And um, we also have a little sock sale uh, happening yes, with some sock, sock yarn we that we do. have. So if you want to take a look at that. Yep, Please. go to our hand dyed sock yarn page. Yes. Unfortunately, we were thinking, oh, we're only going to have the sale for a week, and then I was, which is ending on Monday. But then it was like, but our viewers, they don't yeah. necessarily know, so we thought we'd extend it another week. Of course. So we will have it end on the 18th, which is the beginning of Telegram for you. Yes. Yeah, so if you need some some uh, skeins for that shawl, yes, fill your boots. Yes. Because <laughs> it's, it's the sale. I think it's a good sale. I think so too. It's like five or six bucks off a skein. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'd take a look. It, I would be happy <laughs> if I were to see that. Of course. So anyway, so I hope that everything is good. Check us out on Ravelry at Grumpy Sheep Happy Lama and our website, Happy Lab, Grumpy Sheep Happy Lama dot com. Oh my god, I dot can't CA. speak anymore. <laughs> dot CA. Thank you. Oh I'm gonna shut up now. Take care. Bye. Bye.